So hey folks, what's a Mega Man game without the typical trip to Wily's Castle, or in this game's case, the Wily Tower? Also, can I just take a wild guess, heh, and say that uh, we are going to fight Buster Broad G once more in here? I mean, considering he fled the scene not that long ago, I'd hope so. Yeah. Isn't this his Mega Man 3 castle? Um, no, it's that. I mean, maybe it looks like his one. Let me Mega check it out castle, real quick. But, I mean, honestly, no. I, I think this was specifically built for um, Wily Wars. Because something about it reminds me of the 3 castle. I mean, honestly, uh, it, the more it I does... look at it... Gotcha. Yeah, it does have the same. It does have a similar tower structure. Technically, Wily Castle Seven also looked like a giant tower. But oh, trust me, though, like nothing will ever be as towerific on, as here, the Mega Man. Here's the thing. Yeah. Each of them will always look different, but yet have some similarities. However, there is one constant with the Wily Castle. So it's always it will never skull. actually look like a castle. No. And what were you gonna say, James? What will this never top? The Mega Man 10 castle, which is oh, literally a straight, a straight God, up elevator is... to space. Mm -hmm. The elevator that goes all the way to the Devil Dam. Say room. whatever you will about Mega Man 10. I mean, I've said my things about Mega Man 10, but that is easily one of the greatest visual gags the series has ever done. Oh, I still think just, 10's perfect. Oh, just fine. look at it go! Just the line spiraling up into the heavens. But I mean, no, considering I... how long the series has been going on for, that's like, that's, it's perfect. <laughs> I think somebody, yeah. uh, I think somebody, I, I guess an actual architectural engineer or something actually went as far as to, like, actually put down, how many times can I say actually today? Uh, put down in I don't actually know. That if someone were to create the Wily Castle for Mega Man 1, it would cost, like, $173 million. Uh, Is that the same person who figured out how much it would take, uh, it would take to build a Death Star? No, I, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, but it potential. I'm not entirely sure. Just like I'm not entirely sure if it's also the guy who calculated what, uh, how much Luigi's packing based upon his tennis aces model. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> there, people, there, there are some people that are really like, I, I must know what the, I must know what the plausibility of this is. Yeah, I must know Luigi's ass. How thirsty are some people if they're really trying to decide on Luigi's crotch size? I don't know. I don't get it. You either. know, uh, uh, why? Um, are you sure? I are you sure people don't give me enough attention? I don't. <laughs> I do not understand humans, and yet they amuse me and scare me at the same time. Yeah, we're a destructive bunch. I mean, mm. we make video. I mean, many of us make video games. Oh no! But yeah, hey, I want okay. to make a video game someday, so you know. I mean, that'd be fun. Oh, I mean, I, I, mean I, I, have a free, I have a free, I have a story project I would love to make and do a video game sometime. But I know. I, 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 have to, I have to. I have to look back on reality and realize, not anytime soon, Buster. Yeah, I know. Well, it's it's all about you. Gotta like, part of it is that like, okay, being friends with a couple people and working on a couple game projects, none of which I can ever discuss on this show for whatever reason. Oh, wow. um, also, I saw what you're doing there with that rush discuss with, with that with rush me. with that rush jet. I think it's interesting how so I, I, that is pretty handy that it only actually deducts power as long as you're actually setting foot on rush. And of course these would be back. This looks like quite the puzzle. And I still love that even as a re of a remake, it, they still keep that exploit. <laughs> Nice. But what was I say? Um, is that it, I guess in terms of making it all oh, these poor developers, uh, uh, I guess it's all about uh -oh, guts man with a twist. Whoa! Oh, no. That's quite the impact. Okay, we're not here. Be, I was not be back like not be back like a like a five year old in his imagination. Like a pinball. But it's it's all about just knowing the right people and being able to like you know you know communicate you know network and it, it definitely. Oh. Does, whoa! Jeez. Oh. oh. So, uh, who's ready for, who's in the mood for some fiery Robo Phoenix? Oh, oh snake whoa. Thing. Looks like a, I, looks like a snake than a Phoenix. I dig this spring platform thing, so like the further away you are from the edge, the higher you go up. Oops. Honestly, this thing just reminds yeah. me of- Yeah, well, that's cool. Oh god, this thing reminds me of the, uh, snake from Zelda 2. I can see oh, that. Um, yeah, I can see yeah, that. Oh, yeah, the uh, dragon. <laughs> I can see that. Oh, careful. careful. Kind of thinking that are the, are the, is um is that oh, dragon right. and Volvagia literally one and the same? Uh, actually, they do have a similar style to them, and we I think we were talking about that. But Zelda Two does have like all all go. the town names or all the big like crystal names are named after what would later become the main sages. I mean, yeah, kind of a blessing in disguise that they actually had those names to use back, to call back on. Yeah. We're off to the next portion of yeah. the Wily Tower. Do you okay. think he really needs all those cannons? Those can I I don't know. 
You know I think it would be an interesting twist for a Wily Castle? If instead of having to climb up, you have to climb down and it's actually an underground castle. No, I, I would. No, I mm -hmm. find as a good twist if it actually looked like a fucking castle. <laughs> I would like the idea of like, maybe maybe the next Mega Man game, can, Mega Man game can cover it. But like, I always like how the God, game. God, I hate these things. Wow, that's well, that's slow. That's well, hello, my, hello, Marble Zone. Almost. Okay, I I was gonna say. Hello, um, water, my old friend. Oh gosh, hey Metroids. Uh, what was I say? Um, I would like if there was a game that actually delved into, Ooh. like, actually trying to explain how we managed to breach his defenses and get to the castle because we always just start in the castle. Whereas when you look at the outside, you're like, crash bombs. Oh, there's. You're... I was about to say, I'm pretty sure there are some games where we don't start off in the castle. We just end nice. up like right outside it. Yeah, okay, yeah. that is true. Not to mention that um, I think if, I think from with what Wiley said in Mega Man 11 about like he literally gave, he did give um, what Mega Man coordinates to his castle, which I assume is what he has to input into it, like whatever yeah. like circuit circuitry he has in order to. Oh, work you there. don't oh, stop me thing. this time! Now, excuse me as I give you coordinates to my castle, the exact but, map well, layout, he's, it's uh, like a how he's, the he's, weakness of the villains. Uh, he's a Go ahead, type. But I agree with you there, Matt. But what was that? Hype? I was just saying that, like, he he's a cocky dick. Of course, he's gonna have enough faith in himself to like. Oh yeah, definitely. I can give you all the I can give you all the assistance you need, but I can still beat you because I'm smarter. I was gonna build up the joke and be like, "Well, Mega Man, you'll never you'll never stop me, sir. Don't I... even try." Also, please, if you're coming, please bring pizza this time. I, I've been catering for the last couple parties, and, and please, it really helps out. And bring it and bring mod pizza. Papa Murphy's is a little ugh. Mod? What's mod? Mod pizza. Mod pizza. It's, really it's, it's, it's just another chain. It, it's huh. a, it's a pretty much Subway for pizza. It's absolutely amazing. I used to work there. My Subway <laughs> pizza is Pyology. Oh, you mentioned Pyology. I need to, I yeah, need to figure. Careful. I really need to find a pe any pizza place like that's like this because the only place, the only real pizzeria Jeez. we have left now, now that the pizza that we have Ooh. here is closed down, we have a place called Dad's and. I personally huh. like their pizza. Like, I know some people say it's probably a smidge too greasy, but I think it's fine. Actually, honestly, uh, oh, sorry, you're saying. I, honestly, hi, you. Wait, so wait, the name of the chain is the name of the pizzeria is called Dad's Pizza. Yeah, it, it, it's one of those. Huh. It's one of those huh. like small huh. family-owned restaurants. It's not. So, you, so say if you ever so say if you ever decide to get it on a Saturday, would that Saturday be made for Dad's? Dad's? Made from dad. dad. Dad's is pizza. Made for dads, you uncultured. <laughs> no, be, but I say from because it's the pizza. It's like, oh, I don't know. They could do something silly with that. I've never. I okay. I don't point, think I've ever point actually is seen now that. Now I want pizza now. I don't, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever actually seen that episode of oh, Dexter's you, Lab. You probably have. have. We probably all have. We just don't remember the entire thing. I know the episode well, when they. I know the. I know the episode where they broke and or used way too much of the coffee machine, so all the coffee was gone. Oh, oh that's yeah. a good one. Uh, honestly, honestly, actually, honestly, the only episode I kind of remember from start to finish is when he uh, d has the French translator put on and it accidentally breaks. Like the. Oh yeah, that, that's, that's honestly all he can say is that one word. That's literally like that one one episode that, much like that word, is something that you can easily commit to memory. The other Although episode. I also, remember, oh, I also remember one other. I re I'm trying to. I remember one episode where Dexter underwent these trials that Dee Dee gave to him. Oh yeah, it was like this whole like Karate Kid thing. I remember this other. I remember this one episode where a clown came to school and it pretty much like infected his mind or something. Oh, so yeah, it traumatized him. Wait a minute. Oh. The one episode, one other episode I remember nice. that fucking actually, See you, sucker. that kind of traumatized me as a kid because it is actually fairly dark. Uh, when literally Dexter erases his own existence and creates and turns Dee Dee into a brother, as opposed to a sister. That sounds needlessly uh, convoluted. Yeah. Also, hello, hello, wiffle ball with eyes. It is a wiffle ball. Jeez. Yeah. Um, I actually, jeez, I, I haven't seen these things since high school. What, what were they even used for? I, uh, I think they were just—they were just for practice. Yeah, um, I guess uh, so. Yeah. If I could oh. contribute to the whole Dexter's Lab thing, like, 
First off, I do remember a lot of the whole and dance this car thing, because I remember the whole rain thing was that, like, he was trying to get into the car, but I, either the car wasn't working or he accidentally locked himself out. And that it was ends it, yeah. with him, and it ends with, like, it's revealed that the car crashed, and it just crashed into, like, several different copies of that same car, implying he goes through this every week. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Also, I thought, uh, you know, uh, there's another episode I just immediately remember. Another Saturday, that. another car fuck up. Yeah, so that much. was me last was week. Damn. Remember, when, remember when Dexter's dad had a, had that, that you know, obvious ups, uh, addiction to uh, Mom's Muffins? I was about to reference yeah. that same Double Damn episode. I <laughs> that love was an that. Old one. Like, I, that has probably some of my best delivery from Jeff Bennett. Just like what? the whole, I need him now! By the way, Mega Man 9. Oh, uh, oh. By the way, Mega Man 9 borrowed some stuff, I can see. Yay! Thank yeah. you, thank you, Note Develop. Thank you, Game but Developers, yeah, um, for your puzzles. Actually, but like, but yeah, that episode had a lot of fun stuff. Like, the, the whole, like, tr at the day trip of him, like, fantasizing about Muffin Land. One I like is that he actually dresses up as mom to trick the kids to, like, get to the car. And then, before he eats the muffins, he goes on this creepy, like, rant of, like, Hello, guess what? I'm gonna eat you. Yes, I am. First, I'm gonna bite ya. Then I'm gonna chew your delicious morsels. And I remember that. And carry you around in my stomach for a few days. Few so days, I'm but yeah, no, I remember that. I also I also remember um, I mean one I know I know I know one that a lot of people were like making fun of especially whenever referring to people who have like you know irrational the hell oh these guys uh, who had like irrational like bullying and stuff Ooh. was uh, the I kid like, was the I like kid you're who, like irrational bullying <laughs> was that yeah, so no, no need no need for rational fear it, it was um, the episode <laughs> it was the episode with the bully who just hated kids with with funny accents. Oh, that, I that vaguely remember that. One. Yeah, Tom Kenny being the Irish, like, oh, faith in the God, oh, what did we ever do to you? It just punches him. I also Tom remember Kenny. one, ep I was about to say, I remember one episode was um, where they flushed, where they had to flush their goldfish, but I think it was either Dexter or Dee Dee refused to do it, and the fish... They both, the I think they both did. I'll be right back, by the way, guys. Okay. okay. And, like, the, and like the fish was haunting them. <laughs> there was a bit where Dexter and Dee Dee were, like, running around the house yelling, like, because Dexter yelled because he saw the fish, and it's like, don't mm -hmm. you see it too? No, I just like running around screaming real loud. Oh. <laughs> there was a lot. Yeah. Wasn't there, like, a spinoff to the whole series with the monkey? Uh, oh, oh yeah, dial oh, yeah, for monkey. Dial for monkey. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much that's pretty much just classic classic stuff all its own. Yeah, that was really cute. I also remember that there was like one instance where they introduced a rival for him in the form of like Mandark's pet duck before they became lovers. Oh, right, oh yeah. Oh, basically, 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 what we're trying to say is that this is why we like Disney shorts, the yes. Mickey shorts in particular on YouTube. Uh oh. And, oh yeah, that, and that to an extent, technically... the Looney Tune cartoons. Yeah, well, I mean, Gosh, the, 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 the Mickey shorts do sort of hit ho closer to home in terms of the, the topic, considering a good chunk of those. The people that made those shorts did also work on Dexter's lab. Yeah, yeah. that is fair. I just, I, I just also, Metal I just Blade also, ref I was about to say, I just also oh, referenced the HBO too. show because I've been watching a bunch of clips of them lately. Like one where it's like Bugs convinces Elmer to not eat him in exchange for helping him grow hair for his date. And uh -huh. I think I showed you guys the shot where it's like there's one shot. You gotta where put your head back like this. Yeah, like that where it looks like he's just basically cracking his double damn neck, and the look on Bugs' <laughs> face while he does it. it, it it's some, it's some solid stuff, and I'm glad to see. I mean, I'm not. I don't. I don't want to like. Of course, I support new content being made, and it's never like, oh my gosh, things were only as good as they were at a certain time, because that's a very you know like dated I, I perspective about the thing. What? Uh, I was about to say you, you're bringing no, up like no, 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 whole... no, oh, no, no. I was gonna talk. I was basically referring to like how I always gush about oh the Mickey shorts with their classic animation, classic comedy, or the oh. new, new Looney Tune show, the Cuphead. Like I'm not trying to say that like new stuff can't be entertained, but there is something about the classics that just have remained timeless for all for well, of all course. Of this. Oh jeez, the pole vaulters. Whoa. Also to dial back on the game real quick, um, like I said before, the soundtrack for the Wily Tower stuff in general is great, and especially with the Wily Tower stuff, they're easily some of my favorite tracks. I can't help but feel for the for at least the second and third stages. The songs seem to sound a little too peppy and optimistic for what's supposed to be Wily Tower. Right, this place sounds Whoa. very cheerful and upbeat. And okay, we're gonna go fight another boss. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, remember re remember that odd fellow with the uh, Buster Rod? Well, that's right, our rematch. Yep, Aha. he's back. 
and he's honestly not that much harder than he was before, but he- He's got a he's gun some, this whoa, time! He did, yeah, he decided to drop his buster in, in favor of a traditional buster gun. He's so 89. Again, it, literally, funny. yeah. What's funny is that, like, I know whoa. he appeared in I the refer. first, like, Worlds Collide. I don't remember- Agent 9's got a gun! Oh, there you bye, go. Buster. I was about to say, I don't remember him even using the Buster in Worlds Collide. Like, also, he only used his stats. Just got food. You're fine. Okay. Also, I will say, the, another thing that James has shown me with Wily Wars is I love the dynamic uh, boss arenas. Mm -hmm. I think these, I mean, the, the bosses here are probably the most dynamic of the bunch. At least in this, yeah, at least in this collection. So here we go, we finally made it to Wily. Oh yeah, no, like, they, future Mega Man games would, would definitely flourish it's, in its overall detail. I mean, lest we forget about Mega Man 7 and its scrolling bridge boss fight. Alright, mm -hmm. take your bets. Do you think this is going to be the final one, or are they going to pull Mega Man 2 on us? What do you think? Of course it's going to be a 2. Oh, well, also, I mean, I guess if there's I guess if there's one um, one positive to, to the Wily Tower that I can give above all else. No boss rushes. Oh, oh, oh. okay. I, I was actually about to make a jive at that, but that's interesting. Like, I think that's I think this is the only Mega Man game to actually not Jeez. do that, right? They're throwing all this stuff at us at once now. I mean, it helps too. There's that, that. Well, the only bosses that there were were. Oh, oh listen, Proto Man. Oh, he's back, but, but, and he looks short. He, he's been squashed. Oh. Oh, oh, thank you. Okay. He, he looks That's squashed like, like the dude from uh, Ratchet and Clank. Just... Pardon me while I explode stuff. Thank you, Proto Man, who's known for blowing stuff up, I guess. Um, and burning like... down forests. Don't forget that. I think they just re reused the coding for Mega Man 3, where he blew up a whole path for Mega Man in the in um, Gemini Man's le level. Ah. Everybody gets one. All right, so oh. it's time to face Wily in he... his big honking legs mech. That's a, up. yeah, that's a big one. Oh, uh, so big, that's a big. How do you do? Oh, gee, can oh, we boy. actually go? Can we actually go up to the second screen, all that crate, or? Nope, won't need to. Oh, nope. I see. We just blow it out from under. Uh oh. And now he's gonna put up, put up his dukes. Okay, so let's put up our dukes. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> Look at him. Do 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 Make a move and oh. Nice. And there's one in the schnoz. So pretty solid. Yeah, bring stuff. it oh, on, oh, bring I, it on. You actually, holy crap! Yeah. Actually, actually, I just realized this, and I'm surprised they've never done this before. Yeah, the top of his head is the Wily saucer. Yeah, it is. Get one more hit to do it. it I don't think we've ever. Oh, whoa! Uh -oh. And now whoa. he goes in with the spinning twirl. I don't think we've oh. ever actually fought Wily saucer by itself before. We only ever see it in a cutscene. Uh oh. But now we have to fi fight the fight is uh, Wily Capsule. Capsule W, I guess. I guess this is. I guess this technically would be the saucer since it was his head. But, but anyway, sorry. Just a couple of electro shots, and are there any? Wow, that is, that is probably the most pathetic Wily capsule we've had yet. Wow, yeah. it was pretty shocking. I will still back up and say that from what James has shown me, I love how this, yeah. how this particular campaign <laughs> lets you. It, it has it has some fair amount of replayability depending on which weapons you want to pick and choose with you. Yeah, I mean, I'll def I'll definitely give it that. I wait, just a wait a second, wait a second, is that a, po oh. a point pellet? Yeah. Oh, gee, oh. there's a, a smoke bomb. Well, no wonder they dropped that shit after the first game. Get, Get back here, you. But yeah, that, that unfortunately, that, that literally is the end of the game. What? Ah. That was the worst Wily boss I have ever seen. And I'll say, Matt, bear in mind, this is, this is considered a bonus campaign in addition to one through three. That's fair. Yeah! I mean, yeah, that would sort of explain why it did feel a little easier than most other Wily fights. I mean, granted, I still think the creme de la of that shit is, like, uh, the second phase of Gamma, where you wow, literally, they... fight, literally oh, beat him by pure wet. Wow, they just straight up just chase him to the ends of the earth. Yeah, I, 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 I think I, this is a... Hold on, no, it'd be great if he chased him and the seasons change, like, too. <laughs> Oh, just, like, just for uh, ages, actually, what ages. I would like is that, like, with every one of these robot masters that show up, they just jump off their cred and join Mega Man and Chasing Chase Wily. <laughs> they all don't like him. But yeah, I, uh, I, I thought that was fun. I thought that was a cute little campaign made. I'm assuming, and this was out, so this was not the original Mega Man devs. These were like this was a new team. Oh yeah, no. They, again, they outsourced it to a different developer. I, I don't forget the. I don't remember their names off the top of my head, but I also I know wait, they wait. were also commissioned to to do on Mega Man X Three. Hold on, guys. Which okay. speaks for its quality. Guys, would this make yeah. this one of the first remakesters, remaster well, I mean, remake? Well, it's like well, it's like this in Mario All Stars. But if this came out before All Stars, then yeah, I suppose so. Oh no, no, no. This came after All Stars. Then yeah, oh, All Stars yeah. would probably still be one of the first, but still not a bad not a bad job for this. 
I do think that the Wily Wars as a whole is very interesting in terms of its overall history, but as a game, like, as far, um, uh, comparing it to all the other Mega Man games in the franchise, I mean, it's neat to have, like, the first three games all in one, plus a little extra, but on the whole, it doesn't quite, you know, dethrone the NES classics. It really, is, it really is better to play it on the, on the original soft, on the original hardware? Sort of. I mean, I'm not going to say there's no real point in trying Only out the, the Wily Only the comics will remember we existed! Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Also, wait, I think Wily's starting to get a little tired. <laughs> Stop chasing me! Oh, the get back oh. here! I mean, do more! Oh, oh, finally! Come on, Mega Man, you oh. can do it. <laughs> Inch forward. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, come on! Why stop there? Mega oh, Man, stop. Just, Mega Man, you could have grabbed him Who's instead of inching Who's controlling that anyway? His eyebrows clearly. Look at him go. God damn it, you're right. And off he goes. Damn you, Wily. I'll get you next time. Correct. Thank you for playing. I actually, I, I would not put it past Dr. Wily to have like a little like, you know how like someone like pockets a little remote control in their thumb or like in the palm of their hand for him <laughs> yes, to it's wiggling his eyebrows. eyebrows. I don't know, but uh, now that just gives me this idea of like he he's going to his castle. He wants to like like he parks his capsule and he wiggles one eyebrow and you just hear like a beep beep from the car. Oh god! <laughs> so yeah, just all in all, pretty solid. I, I I won't doubt that something about it probably didn't sit well, which is why people wanted to go back to the original. That was really cool. Thank you, James. I mean, again, I do think, if nothing else, the game is still worthwhile to play just for, you know, just the very idea behind it, and the fact that it does have some pretty decent bonus content. And, I mean, of course, now that now that it's also, like, bundled with a whole bunch of other classics via the Sega Genesis Mini, I would say it's, it's well worth its $80 price tag or whatever discount it's going for nowadays. Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, it's, better, it's more worthwhile than that freaking... Sega Game Gear Mini thing that they're doing at the moment. Why? Where it's like four... Just why? Yeah. I don't get it either. Like, it seems like a total cat. It seems like a total highway robbery at that point. But that's a topic for another day, folks. Uh, hope you all enjoyed our little look through huh, the wild. We're going to beat Nintendo at their game. But but they didn't do it. But they did that mini like what ten years ago, twelve years ago. We're gonna beat them at their game. Till next time, everybody. Yeah.